Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. President Ramnath Govind calls for scientific training and other steps for wider acceptance of mediation before and even after litigations. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says Jal Jivan Mission is giving new impetus to development of the country. 17 NDPP office bearers from Mogukchung region resigns from both primary and active membership. And DGB Nagaland D. John Longama holds first preliminary draft report meeting for the Nagaland Police Sports Battalion. Now the news in detail. President Ramnath Govin has called for scientific training and other steps for wider acceptance of mediation before and even after the litigations. He said that information and technology has played a crucial role in judiciary during the difficult times of pandemic. Govin was addressing the inaugural ceremony of the National Conference on Mediation and Information Technology organized by the High Court of Gujarat at Gevadia in Narmada district today. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Justice of India N.V. Ramana emphasized on resolving disputes through mediation. He said that we should adopt foresight to resolve conflicts in a peaceful and neutral environment. Ramana said even big conflicts can be resolved through understanding. Union Minister for Law and Justice Kiren Rijiju called for better reforms in the judiciary to reduce the burden of cases for speedy justice. He said that the judiciary and legislature should work together in one direction for better coordination. Rijiju further assured that the government is committed to meet all requirements of the judiciary. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that Jal Jivan Mission is giving new impetus to the development of the country. In a tweet, Modi said that in less than three years, water has reached groves of homes, which is a great example of public aspirations and public participation. In a major setback to the Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party, NDPP, Mugukchung region, 17 office bearers announced their resignation from both primary and active membership of the party today. Addressing a press conference called by the resigning members at Machakong Ward, Mugukchung, they said that the election committee for Mugukchung region from the NDPP central office was deputed and a series of meetings were held where consensus candidates were recommended and accordingly submitted for the Mugukchung region. However, appointment for the new office bearers issued by the central office was not in consonance with the list submitted to the central office. Therefore, the 17 members consisting of 10 vice presidents and 7 secretaries said that they have lost hope in the party and decided to resign from the party, which has no respect and honour for its constitution. Director General of Police Nagalin T. John Longama yesterday held the first preliminary draft report meeting for the Nagalin Police Sports Battalion at Jumagadima Police Complex. In a tweet, Longama said Inspector General of Police Liremo, who is the chairman of the committee, briefed a gathering on the progress made so far. Chief Minister Nipiro had last year laid the foundation block for Nagaland Police Sports Battalion during the 39th Nagaland Police Duty Come Sports Meet held at the Nagaland Police Complex, Jumukedima. A meeting of Parliamentary Committee on Naga Political Issue was held today at the Chief Minister's Residential Complex, State Banquet Hall, Kohima. Addressing media persons after the meeting, Member Secretary of Parliamentary Committee and Minister Nipa Grono did not disclose much on the meeting and said the members shared their minds. He said a meeting was called to brief the elected members on the core committee meeting with NNPGs and NSCNIM held recently and discussed on what message will be conveyed to the Government of India. He said no resolution was made during the discussion. Krono said Chief Minister Nipirio and UTA Chairman Tia Zeliang will be going to New Delhi in the coming week to meet Union Home Minister, while Deputy Chief Minister Y. Button is already in Delhi. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIA News, Kohima. The District Cultural Office Kifure today organised a district-level awareness programme for Rural Library at Agape Hall, Kifure. 
speaking at the inaugural program, E.S.C. Gifere, Ani Kaya, said libraries are places where people can come together, think, discuss and reflect. Kaya emphasized on the need for public libraries, which can bring people together for progressive growth. She also called on the participants to inculcate reading as a hobby which will not only help an individual learn but also evolve them to be better informed. P. Youngwei Wongmong, District Coordination Officer, disclosed that there are 29 libraries registered in the district and said that the department is providing books to the performing libraries. The program was attended by 20 rural library functionaries. Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla said India is a strong supporter of democratic values and governance and our democratic system is one of the oldest democracies in the world. Addressing the inaugural session of the two-day Executive Committee meeting of Commonwealth Parliamentary Association in Gopadi today, Birla said Indians strongly believe in democratic system of governance and large number of people's participation in elections proves this. Birla added that in India we can see democratic system of structure from the grassroots level of Panjaitu Raj to the highest post and this democracy binds us together despite diversity of our culture, geography and beliefs. Union Minister of Ayush Sarpananda Sonawal on Saturday inaugurated a two-day scientific convention on homeopathy, people's choice for wellness in New Delhi. Addressing the gathering, Sonawal emphasized that a transformative shift is underway in education, practice and drug development sectors of Ayush. He said that the National Commission for Indian Systems of Medicine and the National Commission for Homeopathy, which has been recently formed, have aligned Ayush education according to the new education policy and are attracting new talents to the extent that not only Ayush is the first choice of treatment, but could also become the first choice for students seeking medical education. The minister further said that public acceptance of homeopathy is high and people seek treatment from the family physicians for generations. The Serum Institute of India, SII, has reduced the price of Covishield vaccine for private hospitals from 600 rupees to 225 rupees per dose. In a tweet, CEO of SII, Adar Punawala, said the decision has been taken after discussion with the central government. He commended the decision of the centre to open precautionary dose to everyone above 18 years of age. Co-founder and joined managing director of Parat Biotech, Suchitra Ella, has also welcomed the decision to make precautionary dose available for all adults. In a tweet, Ella said, after a consultation with the central government, Parad Biotech has also decided to revise the price of Covaxin from 1,200 rupees to 225 rupees per dose for private hospitals. Nagaland for the second consecutive day recorded zero new cases of COVID-19. The state also recorded no new recoveries or deaths. There are currently seven active cases in the state, all of which are from Dimapu and are currently under home isolation. Meanwhile, the central government has decided to make precaution dose of COVID vaccines available to above 18 population group from tomorrow at private vaccination centres. Union Health Ministry said all those who are more than 18 years of age and have completed nine months after the administration of the second dose will be eligible for precaution dose. And now it's when the news, here the main points again. President Ramnad Govin calls for scientific training and other steps for wider acceptance of mediation before and even after litigations. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says Jal Jivan Mission is giving new impetus to the development of the country. 17 NTPP office bearers from Mugukchung region resigns from both primary and active membership. And DGP Nagaland D. John Longamer holds first preliminary draft report meeting for the Nagaland Police Sports Battalion. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.